This is JadeCast, your gateway to traditional martial arts and Chinese culture. Brought to you by your host, Shuffle Jonathan Bluestein. Today on JadeCast, I am going to do a reading of a short article written by Jigoro Kano-sensei. Jigoro Kano-sensei is a pivotal figure in the history of martial arts. He was born in 1860, Common Era, and passed away in 1938. He is the founder of the famous martial art and sport known as Judo, which he developed out of several styles of Japanese Jujutsu. There is a lot to say about the life and history of Jigoro Kano and his martial art, which I would not be getting into in this particular lecture. Rather, I would read the words of Kano Sensei himself about the martial art which he created. As Jigoro Kano Sensei was an educator and a teacher, a school teacher that is, besides being a martial arts teacher, he has produced quite a lot of written work throughout his lifetime. However, sadly, it is correct to say that in this day and age, the beginning of the 21st century, most of Jigoro Kano's writings have yet to be translated into the English language. And therefore, we only have snippets from his wisdom and experience, some of which I would be reading for you right now. What is Judo? By Jigo Kano, the founder of Judo. In my younger days, I studied this art with three eminent masters of the time. The great benefit I derived from the study of it led me to make up my mind to go on with the subject more seriously. And in 1882, I started a school of my own and called it Kodokan. Kodokan literally means a school for studying the way, the meaning of the way being the concept of life itself. I named the subject I teach Judo instead of Jujutsu. In the first place, I will explain to you the meaning of these words. Ju means gentle or to give way. Jutsu, an art or practice, and Do, a way or principle, so that Jujutsu means an art or practice of gentleness or of giving way in order to ultimately gain the victory, while Judo means the way or principle of the same. Can this principle be applied to other fields of human activity? Yes, the same principle can be applied to the improvement of the human body, making it strong, healthy and useful, and so it constitutes physical education. It can also be applied to the improvement of intellectual and moral power, and in this way constitutes mental and moral education. It can, at the same time, be applied to the improvement of diet, clothing, housing, social intercourse, and methods of business, thus constituting the study and training in living. I gave this all-pervading principle the name of Judo. So Judo, in its fuller sense, is a study and a method in training of mind and body, as in the regulation of life and affairs. This was a reading of a fantastic short article by the great Jigoro Kano-sensei. And we would have another reading of another article by Kano-sensei in the near future. If you'd like to follow up on these publications, readings, lectures and interviews, and other terrific information about the traditional martial arts, then you're most welcome to hit that subscribe button and follow my channel as I would be updating it on a daily basis with such knowledge and information. And if you'd like to learn even more, then you can go on any Amazon website of your choice 
go to the search bar and write my name down, Jonathan Bluestein, to find out more about my books. And you'd see hundreds and hundreds of positive reviews that detail what these books are about. Or you can write the names of some of these books, like Research of Martial Arts or The Martial Arts Teacher. And if you want to learn more about what I teach, then you can visit my website, bluejadesociety.com. Blue like the color blue, jade like the gemstone jade, society like ssociety.com. Thank you for listening, and we'll all catch up with one another next time.